This is a short introduction to the Ricoh Theta API for the Ricoh Theta X. I have the camera connected to my local computer with Wi-Fi and the camera comes up at the endpoint 192.168.1.1. This is the camera. So the camera has a small web server in it and you can access it the APIs directly from the camera using something called curl. So this is a OSC slash info command for the camera. So curl in this case the, the data is whoops the the data is blank, but the return is slightly different than the info. So you can see here that I have the battery state. I have I know this charging, uh, the battery level, um, the API version that the battery is inserted, and the current microphone here is set to internal. If you refer to the API documentation on the left hand column here you can get info and so you know it's a get HTTP and info and the other one is a state which is a post command here and there's no body here. Another command is take picture it's a camera so you want to take the picture so I'm going to use this tool called insomnia it's free and you can get it from uh, you can freely download it get insomnia from insomnia.rest and you can just download the app right here and immediately start using it. Another very common one is called Postman. Uh, so in this particular example I'm going to use insomnia and start building the requests up this way. So this top bar here it's set to get I'm going to apply the endpoint of the camera per the documentation and we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's nicely formatted here. Um, you can get the firmware version. So I'm using Rico Theta X right here on the right hand panel with this firmware. And we can also save this request as a uh, double click on it. Info. Okay, so I'm going to build a new request. I think I'll duplicate it here. I'll call this one state. So for the state, I'm going to do a drop down and it's a post. So I'll do state, send it, and I have a bunch of stuff. Now we want to probably want to take a picture here. So I'll you know, just duplicate it again. So I have the endpoint. I'll call this take picture. So suppose, but this one has a body, and we're gonna need to send a JSON body here. And the header is application JSON car set equals UTF hyphen eight. And the endpoint here, according to the documentation, if you go to the commands execute portion, there's name and parameters. Specific command is camera.take picture here. So I'm on this section here of the documentation commands execute. So it's OSC commands execute. And let's see whether it takes it. Oh, it took the picture. Very good. So let's grab the state again here. I'll send the state again. And I'll have a URL here. 
So I'm going to click on the URL and you can see the picture right here in your browser window. If you want to get started, we have this site here, start.theta360.guide. And it has the tutorials in the form of a short mobile apps here with the code is on GitHub. So if you want to build an Android or iOS app that covers the basic features you can all, that's covered in this tutorial, you can also get it from this site, start.theta360.guide, and it'll cover how to take the picture and some other things that are necessary for the mobile app programming. If you're building a mobile app for fun or business that connects to the Ricoh Theta camera, please drop us a comment and we'd love to see what you built. Have a great day.